Well, I'm going to install the oldest piece of technology on the planet in my nice new uh, Pentium i7 uh, computer with that huge video card which you can see the pipes on it through the through the pane I'm gonna end up here because uh, I have I have an old uh, drive it's scuzzy and uh, have some stuff on there that uh, I'd like to see what was on there so so I'm gonna put this here scuzzy card uh, in into the PCI the only PCI slot on this motherboard <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and do that it's dusty because I uh, I got it used it's not new or anything uh, appreciation of the source of where it came from but let's go ahead and slide it around in and put a little thumb screw in there it's already had the back plate off for another installation that I removed I love these thumb screws. You don't need any tools. Toolless cases. Just so you can see, my uh, my computer is a uh, it's a very very powerful computer. Probably the most power you'll need for the next seven years, anyway. Twelve gigs of uh, 1600 megabyte DDR3 like I said i7 uh, 920 uh, I don't remember what the cache is on that a small cooling liquid cooling system by Corsair as a matter of fact the whole case is a Corsair this is the Obsidian 800D case uh, and Corsair uh, power supply 850 watts um, HX uh, series power supply uh, I like it uh, as you can see all my cables are pretty well managed this is this is my old uh, drive I uh, I always keep a backup because I'm uh, I'm actually I'm currently running a raid uh, zero configuration in my uh, in my drives uh, which are in here and because RAID has no redundancy and one drive is one year older than the other I figured I'd keep a copy of my current files uh, on on a drive it's a very old and slow drive uh, it's lasted this long so it's probably gonna you know it's probably gonna last forever I just I keep it right here I also do daily, or not daily, uh, weekly backups of my uh, Windows 7, uh, you know, has the libraries. All my libraries are backed up uh, weekly because I'm in school and I, uh, if, I, if I lose any data in my libraries, uh, it might affect my, my schooling, so I like to keep it that way. But the RAID configuration, I've wanted to set up a RAID configuration for almost 10 years. And finally this year I got, I, I was like, I got the board. It has the ability to be RAID. And I was like, God dang it, I'm going to set up a RAID configuration. Uh, it's not as fast as I thought it would be. According to the Gigabyte box, because it's a Gigabyte UDR3 board, it's supposed to be pretty damn fast, but um, Windows performance ratings didn't give it any much of a higher rating than I had with a non-RAID configuration, which I think is 5.9. That's the slowest thing in my computer is mechanical hard drive. As soon as I'm able to uh, purchase uh, and take the purchase of a solid state drive, I'm getting one. And uh, I'll still do mechanical backup, uh, 
on uh, on my backup drive over there and uh, you know I'll keep doing it that way but uh, everything on this uh, on this board Windows gives it the highest Windows rating possible was a 7.9 so this is a this gets a 7.9 the memory gets a 7.9 the processor gets a 7.8 I don't get that I it's like yeah whatever I think it's a 9 um, this is a, a, a gigabyte uh, uh, 5870 yeah 5870 uh, I think it has uh, 850 megahertz uh, GPU um, I, the games I played don't even tax this machine I uh, I played Tron Evolution and my keyboard has a display readout of the processor usage. I never really go past 25%. And uh, with 12 gigs of memory, I never make it past 25% on that either. You know, I've run multiple things at once. I, I you know, I, uh, I think it's, uh, I think it's pretty heavy duty. I like it. My next. Uh, my next super build will probably, like I said, probably be around the seven year mark. Uh, I, uh, I'd, I, if I, if I could purchase it, I would, I would purchase a, a EVGA board with the maximum memory. I don't even have this board maxed out. This will hold 24, uh, gigs of memory and 12 I, I run VMware for school, and I could run three VMwares um, without a problem, configured at two gigs each. I could probably open six one gig VMwares. I mean, depending, you know, on uh, how I set each of them, but I, I I think I can run six of them. You know, tw twelve. 12 gigs of memory is a uh, quite quite a lot of memory. I, I, uh, I like I said I never really maxed the memory out. Looks like it's. I thought I just dusted this computer last month. Damn. Looks like I'm gonna have to take out the dust filters. Nice thing about these fancy cases, and I'll say it's a fancy case. I spent a lot of money on it. Is is it has a dust filter in the bottom down here. Uh, that will filter a lot of the dust but as you could see it doesn't filter at all you know and I'll probably take the radiator off the back here and uh, just uh, run some compressed air through it I got a small air compressor that will handle cleaning it does it's not over powerful I used to I used to have a really large compressor when I worked on cars all the time but uh, uh, that uh, that that went away, unfortunately, not because I wanted it to. It uh, it it blew up. The damn cylinder wore out from use. I used it so often, but uh, and I gave it to a scrapper like five years ago. So it was sitting around. I I had to get rid of it. It was taking up room. But anyway, back to the computer stuff. Enough mechanical jargon. Back to computer jargon. I'm gonna boot this up and see uh, see what I get with uh, with that card in there. And then I'll uh, why don't I go ahead and grab that easy drive now. So the whole reason I'm putting this old technology in this computer so I can use this. It's a SCSI device. It takes these uh, 
Easy drive, removable hard disk cartridge discs, and you just uh, put it in the device all the way. I'm not going to push it in all the way because there's no power to this device yet, and I want to be able to pull it back out. So when you push it in, this lever comes over. You have to push the eject button, obviously, to get them out. You know, like VCR, old eject uh, on a on a CD drive as well, you know, same same thing. You gotta push a jack to get it out. That's a big monster power pack, power uh, supply. Five volts at one amp. Wow. Too bad it's got this style pin on it. I got another device that I could use a five amp thing. I might have to make some sort of adapter so I could use that other device that I got that needs a supply like that. Maybe. Well, let's boot up and see what I get here. Turn it on. Take a look at my monitor. Kick it in. The sound is because of all the... I had to add this fan here to the... to the um, Northbridge cooler. There's a blue cooler on both sides you can kind of you can kind of see it up there and it's got a heat pipe and it comes down here but I this was getting hot to the touch and uh, I'm one of those old-fashioned kind of people that like computers to run ice cold if you can get them that way that's why I got the liquid cooling uh, for the processor my processor in the summertime never goes over 40 C in the winter time it'll run around 28 you know depending if the temperature in my room is below 70 in the room it'll run at 28 29 celsius uh and oh it seems i got a update that's installing windows 7 there uh so it'll run it runs pretty damn cool I like I like it running cool to me that just means that it's going to last a whole lot longer and uh, whether it will or will not is uh, I don't know I've the maximum amount of time I've had on a computer is 10 years and uh, I uh, I got it the last 10 years and it didn't burn out or anything I just replaced it with another one uh, and uh, let's see if we get stuff pop up here or it's not popped up yet I like a good wide open desktop I, I you know Windows has the jump list of everything that you uh, that you use on a regular basis and you also have the search list so if you know what you're looking for which usually you do you can just start typing usually by the fourth letter it pops up you know in another list of what you're looking for so I I don't uh, I don't have icons on my desktop anymore it's wide open I mean the recycle bin is there you can't really get rid of that unless you modify the registry and I forgot how to do that I'll have to take out one of my old textbooks to find out how to modify it. But I'll leave the recycle bin there. It, it doesn't hurt anything. It's way up there in the corner. I have wide open uh, spaces, so I'm not gonna uh, not gonna even bother with it. And I'm gonna go to the control panel now because it has not seen or not the control panel. I'm gonna go to the device. Damn it! Not clicking right. Go to manage. Go to device manager. SCSI controller. Search automatically. God, I hope it finds the uh, driver for this, because I don't <laughs> even have an idea 
where I would get it if it doesn't find it. I'll have to search for it myself. I'd rather find it automatically. Oh, please, Windows Database, have the damn driver. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that means I gotta power down and take it out. And take a look and see what, uh, what it is. What, uh, what it says on the card. I know it's an adapt tech, but I'm gonna have to take it out and take a look. I gotta run down and grab the, uh, cable for this anyway. I left it in the garage. Cables my benefactor gave me are not quite big enough. Might as well take it down. Uh, might as well just set it down right there. Take these cables down. Well, upon getting the cable for this uh, for this drive with the right size cable, the mother ones are smaller. It's a different interface than this, so I'm kind of bumming here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and give this back to where I got it from, since I don't need it. I have nothing that uses it, and now I'm still stuck with buying a SCSI card. Hopefully one that'll work. Let's put that thumb screw back down there. Such a bummer. I I saw this card in his pile of junk and I'm like, can I have that? Sure, you can have that. Different style connector. Looks like probably 80 pin. 80 pin SCSI card. And this is probably just 25 dB pin. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Yep, this is 25 pin. I had to know better than that. I should have knew that this, this is how long I've been waiting to find a SCSI card. I don't... Oh, well. Eighty pin. Put all this stuff away. I'll I'll still post this video on YouTube, which by the time I post it, you won't hear that part because I'll have removed it. That's mostly for my notes. End video.